According to the IRS, as of 2023, there were over 22 million millionaires in the United States. Now that means that if you're in a room with 15 people, at least one of them is gonna be a millionaire. It's pretty crazy to think of, but I don't want you to get too overwhelmed yet because the average age of those millionaires is 57 and the top 100 richest people in the world didn't hit their first million dollars until they were on average 37 years old. But how did they get there? Odds are it wasn't working a nine to five job their whole lives because the average salary right now is $60,000 for those who work a full-time job. Now, obviously there's some occupations that make a lot more money than that, but say even if you make $150,000, it's still gonna take you a really long time to reach that million dollar mile milestone, right? You gotta think about all of your daily expenses, the cost of living, food, entertainment. At the end of the day, what you end up in your bank account is a lot less than what you take home. The majority of these millionaires all have one thing in common. They started a business at some point in their lives. And the purpose of this video is to break down the math behind a million dollar per year business. We're gonna look at it at the annual, the monthly, and the daily level. We're gonna talk about the types of products you should sell. We're gonna talk about the price points and how you, there's different business models that serve different purposes that will ultimately get you to that coveted million dollar mark. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned, like this video, be sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now to reach that magic million dollar target by the end of the year, we need to generate $83,333 per month. Bear with me, I know that number sounds high, but let's break it down at the daily level. To hit that monthly target, we need to generate $2,767 daily. Now that sounds a little bit more manageable, right? Maybe not, I know it's hard to imagine generating over $2,000 a day in revenue one way or another, especially if you're working a nine to five job, but this is where the math starts to get interesting. Let's say that we have a product or service that we sell for $99. That means that we need 28 customers to pay for that product or service every 24 hours to hit that monthly goal, which rolls up to that million dollar business. So think about that. Just 28 people you have to convince to give you $99 and you'll hit that target. Now that seems a lot more manageable. Now let's say that we have a website. To secure those 28 customers, we need to generate about 1,400 web visitors per day. And here's the kicker. At just a modest 2% conversion rate, we'll hit that monthly target. There's a million different ways you can get those people to come to your website. You can post organic content on social media. You know, you can jump on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. You can create an account for your business and just post content. You can also run paid advertising on any of those platforms and you can generate traffic that way as well. The point is, it's not that difficult to do and there's 22 million people doing it. And again, those numbers are at a very modest 2% conversion rate. There's a lot of things that you can do with your marketing strategies and optimizing your landing page to help boost it, which ultimately means you need less traffic to your website to hit that goal. Now, let's talk about some of the business models that I prefer to get us to that million dollar per year online business. And the first business model is dropshipping. I've been doing it since 2019 and I can promise you it still works today. Stores are still popping up on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, almost every single day. They're finding winning products and they're starting new online businesses. And if you're not familiar with the business model, this is how it works. It starts with building a website on Shopify and adding products that you would like to sell. You will then go out and market those products to customers on social media. You can either do that organically or you can use paid ads to drive traffic to your website. Now, when a customer makes a purchase on your website, you will then go to your supplier and you will purchase that product at wholesale cost and they will ship the product directly to your customer. You never have to touch the inventory and you keep the profit between what your customer paid for the product on your website and what you paid for uh, with the supplier. And there's a lot of companies out there that aren't expensive that can help alleviate a lot of the stress that may come with this business model. Obviously, Shopify is the easiest way to create a website online. There's also services like Drop Genius that will create a website for you in really just a few seconds using AI. It's actually pretty crazy. Then there's also tools like Sell the Trend where you can research winning products to sell based on current trends in the market. And then of course, I always like using Zendrop. They offer the best suppliers and guarantee uh, faster shipping to your customers. A lot of times when you use Ali AliExpress, 
Sometimes your product doesn't arrive or it arrives very late, which leads to angry customers and canceled orders, chargebacks, and a lot of the headaches that come with the dropshipping business models. Overall, the business model is pretty easy. You will likely have to test a few winning products and tweak a couple things on your website if it's your very first time to start generating sales. But the good thing is it's very scalable. Now, oftentimes the profit margins are a little bit slimmer when you're dropshipping. Typically, an average profit margin is between 20 and 30%. So let's say that you're selling a product, it's $50, and the profit margin is 20%. That's including all of your paid ads, the store costs, the product costs, really everything. So for each product that you sell, you're making $10. At that margin, we need 270 orders per day to reach our $2,700 profit goal. And when you're running paid ads and you have pixels set up on your website that track the type of audience that's purchasing on your site, it's very easy to generate campaigns and scale them up to the point where you know, you're generating hundreds of sales per day. And then obviously on the back end, fulfilling all of those orders can be a headache. Again, that's why I like to use Zendrop. They have an automated fulfillment feature that does it all for you. So once you've found that winning product and you're scaling your campaigns, it's very possible to reach that profit target of $2,700 per day, which ultimately rolls up to a million dollar per year online business. Let's move on to the second business model that I'd recommend starting in 2024, and that's affiliate marketing. And as you know, if you've been following the channel, I talk about it a lot and so have a lot of other people, and it's because it works. And it works for a lot of people, especially those who work a nine to five job, and maybe they only have an hour or two per day to spare to start a side hustle. The way affiliate marketing works is brands will pay people like you and me to drive traffic to their website. And anytime somebody that we refer makes a purchase on their website, they'll pay us a commission. And brands are very happy to do this because we're sending them free traffic and they're generating sales. So it's a win-win for both parties. And that's why over 80% of brands have an affiliate marketing program. And in most instances, they're free to sign up and there's not a lot of barriers to entry. Most brands, you don't need to show them any proof of a big social media following or anything like that. So affiliate marketing is becoming one of the most popular business models and rightfully so. That being said, not all affiliate marketing programs are built the same. Let's take Amazon for example. Uh, their products are typically pretty cheap. Let's say you're promoting a product that costs $20. Amazon will give you a 10% commission to drive sales. So you might make one to $2 per order. And obviously it's gonna take a lot of uh, referring to hit that $2,700 per day goal. Now there's other programs and brands especially that have info products, right? Maybe they have a course or some type of e-learning that they sell. And typically the prices of those are a lot higher. The other part is the commission percentage is also a lot higher because since it's a info product, the cost of them to fulfill it is very small, right? They create the info product once and that's it. Any additional sales that they get on top of it is just gravy. So I like to promote info products. Oftentimes I promote products and services that cost thousands of dollars. And anytime I refer somebody to a program like that, the commissions are often 500, 1,000. The most I've ever made on a single affiliate sale was $2,800 off of one order. So affiliate marketing, especially high ticket affiliate marketing is a very popular and one of the most you know, realistic ways to start a million dollar per year online business today. Let's do a quick recap. You need to find a product or service to sell that's gonna generate around $2,700 per day in profit. That's gonna roll up to $83,333 per month, which is gonna get you to your goal of a million dollars per year with an online business. And again, the two business models that I recommend to do so are dropshipping and affiliate marketing. Now, I talk a lot about these business models on the channel. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the content. I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any comments, go ahead and drop those below. Also, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at EcomKong. I'm happy to connect. And until next time, I'll see you soon.